Mallory's been using this wedge pillow to feed the baby at night. So instead of finding a headboard that has that in it or somehow mounting it to a headboard, we decided to just make our own. Um, so I'm actually gonna make more like a sofa table and then that wedge pillow is just gonna sit on it. Here's what the wedge pillow looks like on the bed right now. Mallory loves it, but it makes my feet hang off the end of the bed. I was picking up the plywood and I saw they had 20 foot long two by eights on sale. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet. Might put a roof on one of the barns or the chicken coop, turn it into a barn. Uh, so let me know what y'all think I should do with them. The two by eights plus the half inch sheet of plywood was the perfect width for the pillow. I kind of regretted how heavy it ended up making the sofa table though. I actually almost dropped it towards the end of building it. I've kind of got myself a cut list. I've already cut the, the frame of it out of two by material. And I'm gonna make sure that I got a good strategy on what parts and pieces of this uh, birch plywood I'm gonna use so that I don't waste any. We had some rain come through so I brought it into the house and this is me putting wood putty in the nail holes. It's color matched to the stain that I'm using so it covers them up pretty good. Well the camera died while I was recording building this the other day uh, but I got it all put together. I'm not sure exactly how much of that you saw but um, I got the banding material on to cover up the cut edge of the plywood. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used that or built anything kind of a larger piece of, you know, furniture or something before. So uh, it was an experiment for me in a couple ways, but I, I would use it again. I just wouldn't use it in a high traffic area where it's going to get rubbed a lot. It, it glues on and you can peel it back up if you if you pick at it enough. Um, so today I'm going to put on this uh, wipe on poly just to kind of give it a clear coat and protect it from scratches and things like that. Probably should have got a smaller rag. This one's soaking it all up.
The can of poly recommended three coats, but I only ended up doing two. I wanted to give this time to off gas before it was too dark and get this in the house. Well, here's what it looks like after the first coat. You might be able to see that some spots are already soaking in better than others. Well, here's the finished product. It saved Mallory's back and it's kept my feet from hanging off the end of the bed.